sometimes you can never understand what tomorrow holds for you until you let go of today. Yes. Nobody would ever resign from their job. It is rare to see someone resigning from his or her job when they haven't gotten another one, another job offer somewhere. And I am the person resigning when I haven't gotten no job elsewhere. Yes. So permit me to read my resignation letter to my manager, to you. I'm not reading this for you to say, no, 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 don't do it. The last time I sent this letter to one of my colleagues, before ever the incident that just happened, one week ago happened, my colleague advised me not to. And I calmed down. I was postponing my resignation until the last straw that broke the camera's back happened at my workplace. Not from any other staff, but from the head, the manager, who used that racist lines to us. So permit me to read this resignation letter. I am writing this letter to let you know that I do no longer feel comfortable working here. I can't keep hiding my face at work when I'm not a devil. On the 3rd of June, so 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 person was sitting out at the garden facing the kitchen for over six hours. I was just struggling to do my job within the kitchen area as he was seeing me from the point where he was sitting. I was so uncomfortable going about my duty, praying he wouldn't have no triggers looking at me since you claimed my skin color is likely the cause of his small episodes of overstimulation. Did you get that line? My skin color was claimed to cause trigger to a service user. I am yet to come to terms on how skin color could trigger overstimulation or autistic tantrums. You have copies of all my certificates as a psychology graduate from a UK university. All research I have made shows no connection between human color, that's my color, as causative effects to overstimulation. People with support should be free to stay anywhere in the place they call their home. Hence, I am only an employee who has to leave rather than hiding my face at work. However, I sincerely appreciate all your support, especially the considerations of allowing me work opposite of my husband's rotor. It's something I might not get anywhere else. Many thanks to all the staff here too. They are all amazing. Chinyere Anofono, 7-6-2021. 7-6-2021 is still tomorrow. Today is 6th. Meanwhile, I will be explaining myself better. What happened? You might not understand this. It's a lot to me, but it's high time I move because you can't let people insult your color, insult you, and uh, indirectly call you the devil. Do you understand me? Firstly, this racist line was actually said to my work colleagues, two Nigerians, immediately they came to work. They were told straight in the face that blacks, in quotes, are not allowed to enter certain place, which is the general lounge where we stay. So when I came to work that day, I worked from morning till two o'clock. When the afternoon staff came on, one of the Nigerians, I was about going into the lounge. One of the Nigerians was like, no, 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 Chi, you can't go there. Have you not been told that blacks are not allowed in there? I said, where any? <laughs> Are you kidding me? You know. So when he said that to me, I was like, what exactly was you guys' response to that? He didn't really say much. I said, okay. The next day I was at work. Deputy manager, he wasn't aware of that kind of silly and racist comment. So when he asked me to go into the land with one of the people who support, I said, sorry, blacks are not allowed in there. He said, what? I said, yeah, you heard me. He pretended as if he didn't, because he's, he's, this, this is just bad expression, you know. 
So one of the staff, senior staff, was like, yeah, yeah, cheese, not allowed to go in there. They are not allowed to go in there. And I was lucky towards the evening. The deputy manager was like, Chi, we are going to do six months audit for you. I said, okay. I walked into my his office and we had a one-on-one -on -one chat, you know, right there and then. I told him, did you understand what I said? He said, what exactly was that? I had to explain to him the recent about you are not allowed to go in there because of my skin color or because of our skin color. He was like, that was a misunderstanding that the person that told me that was probably, probably made a mistake that there's no way a manager could use such expression that it could be a misunderstanding. Probably the manager was trying to say that because the service user in question who is having a, um, overstimulations, you know, throwing tantrums, Maybe the person does not understand us because he had difficulty communicating proper. He has this deep British accent. I said, okay, this person cannot lie to me. Meanwhile, he promised to find out from the manager. I mean, the deputy manager promised to have a chat with the manager. So he had a chat with the manager. Next two days, I went to work. Immediately, I dropped my bag. My manager called me to a side with another senior staff, not just me. So he was trying to explain, she, um, deputy manager was after her because of what she said, blah, blah, blah. This is what happened. She was like the psychologist they consulted regarding the new challenging behaviors the service user is having. Now, the psychology was actually asking if they employed new staff. And she said, yes, they employed a couple of new staff, about seven of us. You know, I said, that's fine. He said, the psychology was like, that could be because the person is not seeing new faces, you know, that that could trigger his behavior. I said, okay, that's fine. And that was like, is it about communication or is it about color? So that I can prove what the deputy manager was trying to convince me into believing. My manager was like, no, it's not about communication. Even the other senior staff before me, no, she would don't think that it's communication. And the manager echoed it that is about color, skin color. First, when she mentioned that it could be as a result of new inflows of staff, about seven of us, then I was like, how about these two other persons that are white? They were in the lunch. New staff, they are barely one month. Then, that was when she responded to me that it's about color. It's not about it's not totally about new staff because those ones know Igbo. About four Nigerians were newly employed. Me, I am an old staff. She said, she is not about you. It's about this other Nigerian chicken burgers. That was her expression. This other Nigerian chicken burgers. If she called them chicken burgers, what am I? Maybe chicken feces or chicken poop. <laughs> Are you getting me? And then she, she went on and on that she cited another example. If she should come to my country and somebody says that they don't like her because of her color, would I let her stay or would I kick her out? This was the example cited to me by my manager. I said, anyway, we have to do what we have to do to make this person feel comfortable in a place he calls a home. But then I wasn't finding it comfortable. I wasn't finding it likely. You heard what I wrote in my resignation letter. Three days ago, on Saturday, precisely on the third of this month, I went to work. That same person, they put him where he was seeing me. In fact, I was hiding, feeling totally uncomfortable. But how could I even accept the fact that I'm the devil causing somebody, you know, triggers? I mean, overstimulations. Me hiding myself meant that I have accepted that fact that I am the cause of that person's problem. Are you getting the me? Are you getting me? So that necessitated this resignation. Yes, I'm going to hand in this and call it a quit. It's here now. It's here to be frank. They are, if I don't work there, I'm not going to die. And I don't know the opportunities that are waiting for me out there. Yes, I haven't found any other job, but I have to quit. The other stuff, like two days ago, I made a joke. I hope he did not see me because he started screaming. I mean, the service user, I was like, oh my God, he has not seen me. So why is he screaming now? 
they were like, Chief, forget about that manager, that the manager was too extreme in her lines of words. The deputy manager could not even approach me again because I knew that he had approached the manager and the manager maintained her ground that is color issue. It's not just me. Four Nigerians are there. If those ones do not care about this, though they are honestly very new into this country, they came in March, so they might not take this serious, but not for me. I have spent money to study in this country, assuming that I was one of them who studied, who have my level of education. They wouldn't be doing the job I'm doing here. That's just the honest truth. You know, so you wouldn't just let somebody call you devil, drop shit on your face because of your color and you accept working there. And if she wants to experiment, if color could be the cause of that person's overstimulation, she should seek my consent, isn't it? Written consent, I will sign. Okay, experiment with me. But I've checked online. There's no place that says my skin color could lead to anyone's skin color, whether you go or black, white or black, could lead to, you know, autistic tantrums in anyone. So I feel pained. I feel uncomfortable walking there, to be frank, in the last one week. Other staff were telling me that this um, measure is going to last for like two, three weeks. They are trying to understand if it is actually color. Can, can you imagine? How could that... It, Honestly speaking, if this thing was said to a white person, that same day would be the day the person would pack off. And now, I don't want to make troubles. Because if I want to make troubles, I would write my head office, yes, my company's head office, everybody, at, they have over 50-something over 50 branches in the UK, my company. If I should write their head office, this manager is going, and I would claim emotional wreckage. Because... Honestly, the other day I had a sleepless night waking up to go to work in the morning because I was just thinking about all these things. So I should also claim emotional wreckage so that they will pay me for damages. And then this manager, I know she would first query, but this is not what I want to do. She honestly is a nice person. I have said something about her. Christmas Day, she picked me up here to go to work. Yes, yeah, she saved me £11.50 because on bank holiday, Prices of transportation goes higher. She saved me £11.50. But when I was coming back, she didn't drop me off. I had to pay £11.50 coming home. You know, she's been nice. Considering me walking opposite my husband, Rota, is such a huge thing. Yes, just like I mentioned in my letter. You know, but sometimes she speaks out of proportions. I'm not sitting down here to tell you a lot of things she has said. And while I have stayed so long there, it's because of the deputy manager who kept talking to every one of us in a calm way you know i've had it here i am doing night shift tonight doing night shift tomorrow's night once i'm done tomorrow's night on wednesday morning i'll hand in this i have a training on thursday that's why i'm handing in this before that training so that they wouldn't say, if they don't want me to come for the training, that's fine. You know, I will hand in this before the training so that they will decide. I will also ring them on Thursday. Should I attend the training? If they say, no, hence I'm quitting. Are you getting me? So that they wouldn't feel terrible that I have gotten their training and now I'm walking away. Are you getting what I mean? So that's why I'm handing this over ahead of time. And basically, I'm expected to work extra one month. That's where the thing they pay me for, but it's hurting me. Because honestly, all I wanted to do... All I'm tested to do is just drop this, carry my cup and every, my mug. That's the only property I have there. I'm walking away. But I will have to work for one month. So basically, my job, my contract will be officially terminating on the 10th of July. The paper me. <laughs> anyway, I have a week annual leave. 2nd and 3rd of July, I won't be there, which is fantastic. <sighs> Going for school run. What's the time? Oh, my God.